Ladies and gentlemen, the following singles contest is scheduled for one fall. It's being brought to you by U-Haul, and it's for the Prime Wrestling Television Championship. Well, I'm sure you have a lot to say about this guy. A guy who's had one match since coming back. It was not even a singles match, yeah. but he has a shot at a singles championship. This is crooked politics and favoritism at its absolute worst. How did, as Aaron McGuire now bowing. Hi. Yeah, what's up, Joe? Pardon the interruption. What's up, Joe? <laughs> oh, you gotta love Matt Justice. Why, you've been disappointed with this guy your whole life, your whole career, and now he's out here getting title shots, main eventing television programs, headlining internet pay-per-views getting promos in the ring. And what are you doing about it, Dombrowski? You can't do anything about it. I think Matt is going to have to look himself in the mirror at the source of some of his problems. I bet and you're not the solution either. I got news for you. I'm the ultimate solution. You are absolutely not. Well, this, this man recently replaced Gory as the longest reigning television champion in the history of prime wrestling. And man, is he dressed for the occasion. Now, how does your regime feel about Mr. Facade and Aaron McGuire? I like his new gear. What a matchup with Lewis Linden at Pressure Rising. Some say it stole the show. But I question, I question the deservedness of Matthew Justice. Great athlete, no question. Best shape of his life. But again, much like Madrix and Fontaine a week ago, what did Matt Justice do to earn this? Hey, Matt Justice has been in the gym. What gym has he been in, Joe? Go ahead, put it over. This is a megalomaniac show here. Go ahead, tell the people. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not falling into to, to your agenda yet, all right? Yeah, and yeah, I know, you're not, are you? I know you have, you're having Ricky Shane Page intimidate me and push me around, and that's all well and good. But oh, I've, it is? Okay, good. I'll... I've been with this company from day one, and I have. I just hate to see where it's gone. Hey, that's all I gotta say. who else has been with this company since day one? Me, dumb brother. Introducing first the challenger in the corner to my right. He weighs in at 221 pounds, wrestling out of Venice Beach, California. The one man militia, Matthew Justice. Whoa. Joe, I gotta get up and cheer for this man here. I hope your chair breaks. Finally is getting his just desserts. And his oh. opponent. He weighs in at 185 pounds, and he is a roam in the streets at night, creeping while you're sleeping. He is your reigning and defending prime wrestling television champion, the aerosol assassin, the neon ninja. Fusad. Fusad. Look at that stupid hair he has. Huh? Well, that's 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 his look. That's his mo. That's what works for him. The best combination of discipline and recklessness is Fusad. Won that championship TV title back in I believe the month of June and has not looked back ever since, been a great fighting champion. But man, not coincidental, all the megalomaniacs getting title shots. Ricky Shade Page and Crimson coming up tonight. We got the tag team title issue we've well documented, which certainly Gowan and Iron got a raw deal on. And Justice is mocking these, mocking these fans. Well, you know, I talked to Matt Justice and, and he said, wait a second. And Iron and Gowan still aren't allowed back in the building. How, dis how deplorable are you? Because people are saying justice sucks? No, oh, I don't think so. How can you blame him with how he's carried himself? Look at his hair. Now, wait a second, Aaron. You're honestly going to tell me that, okay, I'll give you Matt Justice is on par with Gregory Iron, Matt Cross, Johnny Gargano. Are you really going to feed me the line that justice is better than all those guys? How can he prove that he's not beating a one of them? I'll feed you that line, then I'll feed you more. Matt Justice is the future of this whole company. And if you don't believe it, well, then you've got another thing coming. I do believe it because you guys are calling the shots. Who else are you going to put in 
Uh, That's the, why you call me the shot caller. I call you a lot worse, thank you. Tick down by Facade. Well, Facade obviously was pulling the trunks there. And he pulled Justice down. I mean, I can't take much away from Facade. Uh, he's a great spray paint graffiti artist. Um, he, uh, he has some nice uh, uh, apparel to wear in the ring. You, uh, can't, you can barely bring yourself to compliment Facade about anything. He's up late at night. He, he, the man barely takes a nap. I, I, I can appreciate what that. What you're fact. referring to being his uh, tagline of creeping while you're sleeping. Really cool, really cool taglines, but megalomaniacs aren't about taglines. We're about being fair. We're about being fair to Mayor and, and people like Matt Justice. Yeah, that's why, that's why you guys wanted the Prime Championship handed to you literally a couple of weeks ago. Well, do you think it should be handed to somebody else? Should be handed to anybody. Settle with the ring like we're doing tonight. Oh, Pace quickens. I give a slight advantage to Facade in that instance. Remember, folks, log on to primewrestling.com. News, rumors, information, whoa, whoa, whoa. job openings, and more. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash TV. Tweet us at Prime Wrestling. Let us know what you think of the show. And I know you guys are going to love this encounter. As long as it stays one-on-one, -on -one. Aaron, do not move. Please send the word, no more megalomaniacs. And Justice hits that guardrail hard. Now, we're talking about, you said there were job openings. We, are we going to have people apply for positions here? Well, I know Vic's assistant is not a job opening, is it? Well, I can tell you what, play-by-play -play man is. If you keep talking to me the way you are, you know who I am? I'm the business, Aaron McGuire. I'm the shot caller this around is, here. This is not what this company was founded on or built on. Yeah, it's built on business. It's a business, Joe. Trying to reap the benefits of hard work of others, like Facade, like Gargano, Cross, like, Scow, and Iron. It's about giving guys like Matt Justice a chance. The guy needed a chance, and he wasn't getting it with people like Justin Labar and all his librarians uh, in his back pocket in charge around here. We're talking about... We're talking about megalomania. Well, megalomania is certainly running wild, nearly right. unstoppable right now. Boy, you just—you're just such a ham, aren't you? You're I, a ham and egger. How I, do you like that, Dombrowski? Hot dog at every second of the day, and there's a near fall. Why don't you call the action like you see it instead of trying to hot dog me at my job? Justice is in control right now, and Justice—he's never Tell looked him. better. I'm not denying that. Who does a lateral press any better than Matt Justice? But for the love of for the love of all his holy, work your way up the ladder. Who oh, Justice hasn't worked his way up the ladder? He He's been here since day one, just like you and I, Dombrowski, just like Pedro. He was gone for a year. You know, just walk in the front door, get a title shot. And I think Facade's pretty worked up about that as well. Well, see, then in the in the mold of of our vision of prime wrestling. Facade doesn't fit as a television champion, as a representative of what's on television these days. Matthew Justice does. Look at that body. Well, I think your vision sucks. Sorry. I think Facade's a, a hell of an athlete. Facade can be the future. Facade's the present. And Facade sends justice for the ride. Oh, you think just because Facade knows some kind of crazy martial arts that he can do it? Well, Worked so far, roll up, got him, no! Well, Matthew Justice knows karate, body karate. Boom! Jeez! That's what I'm talking about right there. He knows power, that's for sure. Justice just overpowers Facade. Man! I think that's it for Facade, thank goodness. Got him, no, near fall. Wow. And the crowd certainly firmly behind Facade as he attempts to will himself on. A night when we will see Ricky Shea, Page, and Crimson perhaps destroy each other before our eyes in the center of the ring. Ooh, look at the strength of Matthew Justice. He's got power. He's got mega power. You know that, Joe? Just like Marion Fontaine's a mega star. Just like I'm a mega mind. Just like it's all about megalomaniacs. And this is a different Matthew Justice than we saw in years prior. A completely different style and a different attitude. You guys have corrupted the mind of Matthew Justice. Plain and simple. Oh, you think that you know everything, Dombrowski. He's the one that came to us. 
Well, we got a Kobu and an air fall. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. He might just squeeze. He might just pop Facade's head off right now. Well, Justice certainly has the strength to do it. Facade's very resilient over. He has a very strong neck from extensive neck bridges, exercises in the gyms of the dojos. Facade is trained for maneuvers like this. Justice, he works out at Boro Bell. You know what that is, Joe? I'm sure you'll enlighten me. I'm sure Justice, I'm sure you guys bought off the owner of that establishment too. <laughs> you won't see prime wrestling in the streets borough anymore. Jeez. Where megalomania is running wild in the gym working out. Keeping up on the fitness. Well, Facade was able to break the grass, but now with some distance between the two, Facade has an opportunity to create something here. Oh, now that kick was, was very unjustified right there. Well, check this out. Facade puts the brakes on. What's Facade doing? Gonna go high risk, look like. Well, you know what they say about high risk. That's what Facade's at his best here. Walking a rope. Oh. It's a drop kick. Beautifully done. Matthew Justice. Clap, 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 clap. Matthew Justice. That no. could do it. Joe, come on. Come on, start chanting with me. We want Matthew Justice to win this Well, one. I want the best man to win, and I have a high doubt that it is Matthew Justice based on Facade's run. This is my personal opinion. Have you been reading Vic's Twitter lately? I attempt not to. He's the commission, you know. Well, I hadn't heard. This company's been in disarray for two months. He's a socialite. Oh, hard atomic drop. Oh, no. Oh, no, that was questionably low right there. Second time, it targets the tailbone, Aaron, relax. Bounces himself, no. Matrix style maneuver, all of a sudden, oh. so innovative, so smooth, so fluid. He, he should have this title one, but Justice sneaking between the rope to the outside. Well, this, uh, this isn't justified. This isn't justified, he had Matt Justice's big boot scouted before this match. I don't know how, how you can justify that as being fair. And Justice drops down on facade. Rough landing for the reigning champion. Justice trying to get innovative here. There it is. Come on. And Justice trying to get frustrated. Justice realizing why facade has been on top of the TV's title division for so many, many months. Uh-oh. Well, at least he's got him up there now. Oh, no. And Facade elbows his way free. That was low. Come on, Dombrowski. Call it like you know it. Well, yeah, to the bread basket. Didn't look low to me. And Facade hits the outside again. Justice is on no carbs. No carbs, Joe. Uh-oh. There we go. Facade hits awkwardly there on that railing. We got a crowd shoehorned in at the world famous Agora. And Facade responds in kind. He caught Justice in his eye, right in the retina. Gonna go springboard, oh. gonna go Bulldog. I might have to get in there, Joe. And Facade, cover done, get back here. Near fall situation. TV title on the line. I think uh, we may have underestimated Facade a little bit here. And a duck of the shot. Up and over. Oh, Stiff no. kick right to the temple. Should I go check on him, Dombrowski? No, you stay here. I could be his nurse. I could nurse him right back to health, Joe. A count out win certainly counts. Facade looking to fly. He's coming, he's coming, watch out. Here we go, double sprint. Ah. Somersault on. All right, that's gotta be illegal, right? You should strip Facade of the title. Whoa, 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 you stay out of here. 
Facade's got this championship retained. I may have to get physical, but Facade's got the championship retained. What? 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 What is this? Well, I was. Oh, hey! Come on, baby girl, get down here. I recognize. <laughs> that's Marty Bell yes, from Pressure is. Rising. <laughs> what is Marty Bell doing? It. That's Marty Bell from My Dreams, them bros. Wait a second. Vic talked about it. <laughs> was that the signing bonus from the top, the Death Valley driver? It might be. It could we be. We have a new champion. It is. We have a new champion. Here is your oh, no. winner <laughs> and new Prime Wrestling Television Champion, the One Man Militia, Matthew Justice. It has happened, Dombrowski. No. Justice has been served here in the Agora Ballroom. And it was served on a silver platter by the beautiful, by the vivacious, oh. Marty Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, more action still to come. That's hideous. Ricky Shea Page encrypted your feature matchup. 